Hi, and welcome to the Longevity's Learning Lab. I previously did a setup video of each of these machines, the uh, Longevity Force Cut 62i and the Thermodynamics Cutmaster 52. And I said I would go head to head and tell you what the differences were and describe the machines. And so we're going to do that. We're going to uh, talk about the machines, show you what the differences are, put them together, and uh, then cut with them. I hooked up my air in the back and I've attached my ground clamp to the table. Ground clamp comes right out of the machine. Uh, it's just fixed in there. And I'm going to hook up their ATC plug. This is a proprietary plug to uh, thermodynamics, I believe. I just screw that down. And now the torch is connected. So we're going to run it at uh, 60 amps. And I'm going to turn machine on here. And we're going to set our air pressure. So I have 80 pounds of pressure in the line available. And this is going to run down to, this is our set at 70. So we're at 70 for our, our actual cut pressure, but there's 80 pounds in the lines. So that means the machine is ready to go. I have a half inch plate set up running 60 amps at 70 PSI. I'm going to use a uh, welding helmet that runs from 4 to uh, 13. I'm going to set it at 6 for my cut here. Before I start, I just wanted to show you there's a couple of things. Here's a trigger lock for the uh, cutting torch. And there is a, a short delay before the arc starts. So, and it's got a 20 second post flow. So, a real brief pre-flow before the arc pilot starts. And then a 20 second post flow. All right, here we go. This is a piece of inch and a quarter bar stock. Uh, we'll see how we how we do with this piece. Alright, I'm going to set up the 62i. This is my ground clamp, small dins. I'm just going to go in and, and turn. I'm going to ground that to the table. Here's my Euro Connect uh, for the 62. That just plugs in and then thread the collar down and you're set. I already hooked up my uh, gas bottle in the back. So then from there, I'll we'll turn it on. 
and we just have a dial we turn up to 60 amps this is my run set if I flip this switch then I can set my PSI through a little flow meter flow uh, pressure gauge in the back uh, and then flip it to run and now it's ready to go This is the same half inch plate I cut uh, earlier with the Cutmaster 52. I do have a little guide here and you can get this for the, for the 52 also. Uh, it's just a matter of changing the nozzle that it comes with. But this, uh, this standoff is a little easier for, for me to use uh, when I'm cutting. You just put it down and drag it across. Uh, it does have a lock, uh, not the same function as the Cutmaster Torch, but it does have a lock. So. You're not randomly turning on the uh, the cutter. So here we go. This is the same inch and a quarter uh, bar that I was cutting with the 52 on, the Cutmaster 52. So now I get the uh, Force Cut 62i. We'll see how it cuts. The piece didn't fall off, but I believe that it's severed all the way through. Yeah. Here we go. Boy. Both these machines are highly portable. They both weigh right in uh, around 60 pounds. The Cutmaster gives you this nice uh, cage around the machine that'll protect it if it falls off the table. Uh, I looked for the CNC port on the machine. I didn't find it. A nice feature is that Longevity gives you a CNC port right up, right up in the front. Uh, both machines come with a with a, a 20 foot lead on the torch. Uh, they're both very simple to operate to to hook up the torches to, hook up the grounds to, and then start cutting. Um, the Cutmaster severance is at an inch, and when I was cutting on the, on the uh, inch and a quarter bar, I was washing out a little bit. Uh, it's rated to an inch, and the longevity is rated to one and three eighths, so there is a little advantage to, to cutting thicker materials. A four-year warranty on the uh, Cutmaster 52 and a five-year warranty on the Force Cut 62i. So both machines are, are very capable, uh, uh, easy to use, easy to operate, portable. Uh, thanks for watching today at Longevity's Learning Lab. I hope you learned something.